you can't get your coins instantly anywhere else except instantmaddencoins.com. Cheaper prices, instant delivery. They have coins on all platforms. And use the code Ryan at checkout for 10% off. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And I'm kind of upset right now. I recorded about half of this video and my screen was not recording. And I kind of am pretty upset about it. But we do have... I could actually paraphrase a lot of this stuff now that I know since I already did half the video, but basically we have the Madden Ultimate Team playoff content coming in, and basically right here we have, if you guys want to do some sort of uh, limited head-to-head -head event, you guys could actually go ahead and participate in this. We have the ranked one and then the unranked one. Basically in the unranked one, if you get yourself up to four wins, this costs absolutely nothing to enter, zero tickets, zero points. You get yourself one gold or better playoff player and 4,500 coins. If you guys want to do the ranked event, you guys get yourself a gold or better playoff player, one pro pack, and 18,000 coins. This is going to cost three tickets or 150 points to enter. The first time you play it and get four wins, you'll get yourself an elite playoff player for your first four win event. So uh, the elite playoff players, what are they and what are we going to be getting in here? The title of the video already gives away who the man of the month player is, or as it's called now, the man of the playoff, uh, and it's going to be Tom Brady. So this is going to be the very last man of the month set that we get. No longer are we going to be getting them. Brady is going to finish it out. And if you guys want to go ahead and do this set when it comes out, this is actually going to earn you a Team Hero collectible, which can be used for the old sets. You add 20 non-playoff items of silver players and then 40 non-playoff team items, uh, gold players, and you guys get yourself one random elite playoff player and then one Team Hero collectible that you guys can use for the other sets if you still want to do that. Now, basically, what you get out of this set right here where you get one random elite playoff player, you cannot get what is known as the playoff leaders. So we have AJ Boya here, for example. What you're going to be getting are these cards down here. These are the normal elite playoff cards like Will Fuller, Quentin Demps, Whitney Merciless. Um, not sure who their elite center is, and I think that's Bernardrick McKinney. Uh, but you guys will be getting those cards, not the playoff uh, leaders as they are known as. These are basically the new team heroes. There's all 12 of them for all 12 NFL playoff teams. And basically... Once you complete all 12 of those, you could put them into the Tom Brady set, which I will show you at the very end. Uh, the first one is an A.J. Boye for the Houston Texans. Lockdown in Houston times two. There are his attributes. I'm not going to go through every single one and read it off because you guys can see it there. I'll just point out the main things like speed, being 91, 94 man, and 92 zone is pretty nasty for uh, A.J. Boye, which is coming on as a uh, you know really young player. No one really expected him to show up like he did, and he actually has been playing really well. One of the best young corners in the NFL. Um, and again, there are their elite players, and there are the golds. You had all five elites, all five golds, and you end up getting yourself the A.J. Boye card right here. Add all 10 Texans playoff players to earn NFL playoff leader A.J. Boye, and that will expire on the 29th. And it is needed for the man of the playoff set. So that is how you do the Tom Brady. We're going to go through every single one of these and let you guys know what the elites are. And you guys can look at the attributes for each card. So 94 overall of DeAndre Levy with hot hands and coverage linebacker. And there are his stats right there. Really nice 86 speed for DeAndre Levy. 95 tackles, really nice. 94 play rec and 95 pursuit. Definitely a really nice card there. And has very good chemistries for sure. Uh, we have Glover Quinn, Larry Warford, some Wilson guy. I can't really read his first name for some reason. I'm used to seeing Glover Quinn, which looks to be back there as the elite free safety, but not sure who that is. Looks like it almost says Kevon Wilson. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, and then Golden Tate. Of course, we know what Golden Tate looks like. That is him right there with route runner and West Coast offense. There are the golds. If you guys want to take a look at that, Zach Zenner getting himself a nice card. Tyron Walker, Andre Roberts. Looks like Brandon Schreff. And I'm not sure who that is back there. Next card here, we have the Eli Manning New York Giants card with Conductor and New York Giants times two. Uh, it just doesn't say it on the set, but it does say down here New York Chem is times two. And we have 74 speed on the Eli, but 92 throw power, 95 short, 95 medium, 91 deep, and 95 play rec. Or uh, play rec, 95 play action. If you guys think that's good, wait till you see the Tom Brady. It's actually pretty disgusting. So that will, that's what you're going to get if you do the set for Eli Manning. And here are the cards needed. Justin Pugh, Devin Kennard, 
Andrew Adams. It looks like Damon Harrison and Joe Berger, I think. 84 overall elite. Have you ever seen that before? Kind of crazy. And there's all the golds. We got Eli Apple, Eric Flowers, uh, Paul Perkins. I um, think that's Larry Donnell. I could be wrong. And then someone else. Is that Leon Hall? Not really sure. Uh, but now we're going to go ahead and move on to Jarvis Landry, 94 overall with the playmaker ability and route runner chem. And there are his attributes, 91 speed, 90 elusiveness, 94 catching, uh, and 90 catch and traffic. Very nice card. And here are some of the elites. We got Matt Moore getting his first elite card. We got Juwan James, Kenny Stills. Uh, looks like Tony Lippett. And I'm not sure who that is back there. But there are all the elites for the Dolphins. There's some of the golds. Damian Williams, Craig Urbic, Xavier Howard. Uh, looks like someone that ends in MBO. Is it Frank Zumbo? I'm not even really sure. And then someone with wit. Is that Hewitt? Uh, I'm not sure who that is. But here's a fan favorite. We got Jimmy Graham, 94 overall, with slot expert and chain mover. Taking a look at his card, 87 speed is nice, 93 catching is amazing, 75 run block is very good for Jimmy Graham, uh, 91 route running, 92 catch in traffic, 94 spec catch, a very nice card for Graham, KJ Wright, Deshaun Shedd, Justin Britt, looks like Doug Baldwin, and I'm not sure who the DT is. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I, I'm pretty sure I know who that is, but I can't really think of it right now. Uh, and there are some of the golds, Paul Richardson, Alex Collins. Uh, not too sure who these two guys are. And then we have Steven Terrell. So moving on. Here is a very nasty LeGarrette Blunt. Blunt's been getting a lot of good cards all year long. It has bruising back in New England times two. He has 90 speed, 96 carrying, 93 acceleration, 96 trucking. Like, can this card get any better? Like, a LeGarrette Blunt with that good of attributes? you got to be kidding me. Uh, we got Nate Solder, Logan Ryan. We got Jabal Sheard and Shaq Mason as the elites. Chris Hogan, Shea McClellan, David Andrews. Looks like Dion Lewis and Dewan Harmon, or Duran Harmon. I'm not sure how you say his name. That is going to finish off New England. Uh, well, it's going to finish off New England for now, but once we get to the man of the month, you're going to be very happy with yourself. So we have Marcus Peters here with pick specialist KC times 294 overall. And there is his attributes 93 speed. He's got 85 catching, which is nice for a corner, 91 man, 86 zone, 94 play, uh, press, and 90 play rec. We got Zan Taripo, Alex Smith, Tyree Kill getting another card. Uh, we have Chris Jones and looks like Mitch Morse. And then some of the golds, we have Philip Gaines. We have, uh, what is his name? Something Wilson, uh, Charkandrick West, uh, I think something Harris. And that's Frank Zumbo. So <laughs> I called the other guy Frank Zumbo, but I, I knew Frank Zumbo was a white player, uh, linebacker for the Kansas City Chiefs. It just, it just kind of looked like it when I looked at it at first. Uh, this is playoff leader Mike Daniels. We have 94 overall. That new ST chemistry, which I'm not sure exactly what it does. I'm pretty sure it makes it so people cannot uh, like use their abilities on you and it just shuts it down immediately. So that's what the Mike Daniels has. Also has uh, LP, which is line pusher. He has a right end. And here are his attributes. 78 speed is very nice for him. 87 acceleration, 92 tackle, 94 block shed with a 94 finesse move and a 95 power move. Uh, very, very good card right there. And we have Micah Hyde, Aaron Rakowski, David Bakhtiari, uh, looks like Morgan Burnett, and I think that's Brian Belaga. So that is, there's some really nice Packers players right there. A lot of them have the Packers offensive chemistry as well. If you guys want to do that uh, little set. It's nice about all these elite cards. You know, a lot of them have their team chemistry added on. So... Uh, very nice to see uh, a lot of that right there. Uh, we have Joe Thomas, not the uh, left tackle, but Joe Thomas, middle linebacker. He should be very fast right there for the Packers. Christian Michael, Geronimo Allison. Uh, looks like that could be that Ryan guy, but I I think his name is Jake Ryan. Pretty sure that's who that is. And then who do we have here? Dayton Jones, I think. Nailed it. Let's go. Uh, so those are all the Packers players you need for the Mike Daniels. All right, we're moving on here to the Steelers, and we have Mike Mitchell with the ST chemistry as well and big hitter, and there are his attributes. Trying to make this a little bit quicker because I'm pretty sure we're almost near 10 minutes. I don't want you guys to sit here all day uh, looking at all these cards, so there's uh, there's his stats right there. Uh, we have Jason Hargrave, Ross Cockrell, Raymond, uh, Ramon Foster. It looks like James Harrison getting a 92 overall card. Very cool. And their left tackle, which I'm drawing a blank on right now. Some of their golds, Jesse James, Artie Burns, Landry Jones, so on and so forth. 
Uh, and here we have identifier chemistry, and this is going to be on Rodney Hudson with zone blocker. This is going to be a really nice card. 95 pass block, 89 run block, 95 impact blocking with 89 strength. Very, very nasty for Rodney Hudson. And here's some of the Raiders elite cards. A lot of people will be happy to see Michael Crabtree getting a new card. Reggie Nelson, as he used to be known as the Eraser. Gabe Jackson, uh, one of their DTs, not sure who that is, but that is definitely Perry Riley Jr. on the left side there. And a couple of other golds here, TJ Carey, Connor Cook getting a card, uh, and then so on and so forth. Uh, right here we have one of the better players in the NFL right now, Vic Beasley with Jump the Snap and Edge Blitzer. And some of the elite players, oh, well, we have to look at his stats first. 90 speed for Vic Beasley with 91 Excel, 86 block shed, 94 finesse move. Very disgusting card there coming off the edge. Some of their elite cards are going to be Tevin Coleman, which should be super fast, Mohamed Sanu, Ryan Schrader, and then I think that might be Walford. I'm not sure which one that is. And then their strong safety, I think that's Keanu Neal. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me. Uh, Devondre Campbell, Taylor Gabriel, Jalen Collins, Levoin Tololo, and I'm not sure who that right end is, but we're getting down in the nitty-gritty. I think this is the last one until the Tom Brady. So another identified chemistry here for Zach Martin. Dallas chemistry times two. Gets to be a very popular card. If you guys only want to work on a couple of them, definitely try to work on Zach Martin. Everybody's going to want this card with 93 pass block and 93 run block. He also has 88 impact blocking with 92 stamina. 87 awareness, very good card. Ronald Leary getting a 91 overall. Barry Church, Cole Beasley, that looks to be... I'm not sure who that is. If I had Chase right here, I could actually have him help me. Uh, and I think that might be Brandon Carr on the outside or Morris Claiborne. I'm not sure. Could it, it could actually be one of their other cornerbacks, but for some reason I'm drawing a blank on that middle linebacker. I know it's not Sean Lee. It's definitely one of their other guys. Uh, but we do have here Randy Gregory. Um, is that Rod Smith? getting a card. I can't really read what that says. Uh, Darren McFadden, Bryce Butler, and then J.J. Wilcox getting themselves some goldies. And then there he is, guys. 97 overall, Tom Brady. Just pop. Like, I, I a smile came on my face when I seen the card because it just looks so nasty. Uh, the little uh, background sparkles and, you know, the coloring looks so cool. But you have to add all 12 playoff leaders to earn the 97 overall man of the playoffs, Tom Brady. It has New England chemistry times two. And also has uh, Conductor and Chain Mover. And there he is, guys. Without further ado, I'll make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. There he is, the Tom Brady. He has 73 speed, which is insane for Tom Brady. 95 throw power, 97 short, 96 medium, 95 deep, 96 play action, 86 throw on the run. We also have a couple playoff legends that are not in this blog. We have Frank Gore and we have Terrell Suggs. They are going to be cards added probably every single week for the playoffs, so be prepared to see that. It's going to be past performances for all, you know, legendary type NFL players. So we're probably going to see like a Larry Fitzgerald in the future, um, you know, so on and so forth. Maybe even like a Santonio Holmes, a Ben Roethlisberger, you know, just think of cards like that. That's probably what we're going to get. That's going to conclude the video. If you guys are excited as I am for the new playoff content, let me know down below. Give the video a like if you enjoyed. You guys have been killing it lately with the likes and all the support on the videos. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.